Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Right, he said, he said that even when Christ was walking, he said, John the Baptist suffered. They did what suffered. They, he can't restore all things, and yet they didn't know him. And also they did to him such as cut his head off. Uh, and then Jesus said, likewise, they would do that to the Son of Man, to him. And he did suffer. Uh, but he suffered for us. He paid the price for us. So, so when you said what, I'm just saying it was a mixed bag, right? There's success as well as suffering that came with it? Personally. Well, but, but I don't consider the suffering to be anything. Suffering is a greater evidence of success than anything else. Okay, yeah, I like that. Yes, sir. So you said how they failed, yeah. right? So that's. We are called, we've been chosen to suffer with him. Okay, mm. amen. Amen. Uh, so, so if there's no suffering for the cause of the kingdom, but for the sake of Christ and the winning of the world to the kingdom, if there's no suffering on their behalf, then I, I, I think that's a sign that ought to call you to, to, to be concerned. Uh, concerned more than anything else. Wow, that's a Yes. Okay. So, it's because you see, after Pentecost, they evidenced every sign and symptom. That what God had promised, He fulfilled. Yeah, yeah. They had power. Uh -huh. uh, they endured persecution. Yes, sir. Without becoming discouraged, without murmuring or complaining. Woo. In fact, it said that they 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 rejoiced. Okay, you did. It did right. And they yep. were counted worthy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All, all of them, all of them go on to be killed, murdered for his name. Come on. I just want to throw something. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I don't think that, that with them after Pentecost, there is no question in my mind whatsoever. Uh -huh. uh, they all had issues when Jesus was with them in the flesh. But that ought to tell you something right there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why Paul said in Corinthians that we once knew him in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But uh -huh. we don't know him like that no more. Come on. <laughs> Wait. But see, that was never God's purpose for you to have Christ with you. Uh-huh. I was getting but Bishop, I like the part you're saying is that you know, a lot of cases, as Brother Asset, if if someone uh, uh, you know, like the time you're on the Facebook thing, you're on that whatever that vir virtual thing, and sometimes you get some type of feedback, negative feedback, right? Oh, you're talking about, oh, yeah, never what, mind. go ahead. Yeah, whatever that conversation you have sometimes, somebody, you know, you yeah. get some type of attack. And, you know, I never thought about that. What, what, Bishop, what brought me to mind what you just said was whenever you get persecuted, Jimmy, it's really to rejoice because you must be doing something. Yeah. <laughs> something, something you're doing right. Mm -hmm. and, and, it's, and it's like, amen. <laughs> amen. I mean, it's, 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 if you're not suffering, and I ain't talking about, I guess maybe we're afraid of the word suffering, but if, if, if we're doing the will of God and we're getting persecuted for it, and, and, and you know, in some cases they even got beaten and they, they rejoiced. That would, I think Bishop was trying to say that mm -hmm. when the first time they was beaten, they came out and said, whoa, hey y'all, <laughs> we're part of, we're fellowshipping in the suffering. We're doing God's will. This is not supposed to be strange. This is supposed to be something that indicate that you're doing the work of God. Mm -hmm. Not before you look for it. You agree with that, right? You're not looking for it. But it's an indicator. So well, talking, you talking about this? You talking about the physical stuff? I talking about he yeah. suffered because of the persecution on the cross. You know, he suffered. He was whipped. He was beaten. He was spit yeah. on. And also, even like you said, they tried to throw him off a mountain one time, right? Yeah. They, they yeah. wanted to stone him a couple of times. They they did uh, attack him verbally. 
they get called a name. Mm -hmm. But I think that that humanity side Gene was showing is, I'm doing that because that's who you are, right? Mm -hmm. then you, yeah. you have no choice but to have the humanity on you. But I want you to be able to understand that when you're preaching this gospel, your humanity, your physical piece of you is going to suffer, but you rejoice in that because you're doing his will, right? And what I want to throw in there, though, let's look at that, look at the scripture again. I'm saying is, because we said we receive power. The piece I'm looking at, verse 20, look at verse 20 for me. What, what do you see in verse 20? I, I, I see the part about nothing shall be impossible to you. If you said we receive a measure of faith, right? You said we receive. All of us receive, every believer receives a measure of faith. Yeah. How much faith do I need to do all things? That measure? <laughs> I, I, I submit to the scripture says, Bishop, is it true right here? He said, uh, Brother Addison, verse 20, I mean, 17, verse 20. Jesus said unto them, because you don't believe, that's your issue. For verily I say unto you, if you have faith, not the measure of faith, but if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you should say unto this mountain, which is the issue that you may face, issue that I may face, remove hence to yonder place. And look what he says here. I'm talking about this power. Though. It shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible. Go ahead, Elder, unto you. 